Look, I had no intention of going to see Red One in theaters. The only reason I did is because Drain the Cock Johnson was like, oh yeah, this, <laughs> this is on the same scale as Oppenheimer, which is the funniest thing I've ever heard. And I wanted to see if The Rock was actually cooking with this one, and was he? No. No, he wasn't. So the film follows Drain the Cock Johnson, who plays Callum Drift, <laughs> who is Santa's personal bodyguard. Santa goes missing, so they hire Chris Evans' character as a tracker. And they go find him. It's the most 2000s hallmark plot that you can ever think of, and yeah, they, they do nothing with it. I want to talk about the budget for a sec. $200 million? Actually, scrap that. $250 million? I saw the trailer for this, and it looked like a Netflix film that wasn't going on Netflix, and it's sad to say that. Drain the Cock Johnson putting the GDP of a third world country into a film which no one would want to see is a crazy thought to me. And they do absolutely nothing with the budget because it looks like some Hallmark Netflix special ass shit that you have seen in 2001. It's no different than Shark Boy and Lava Girl at points, it, it is crazy. I'm getting ahead of myself, let's talk about the film itself. And yeah, it's, it's terrible, it's, it's, uh... It has this gingerly pace to it, of which kids will probably find boring. It starts off with Chris Evans breaking into a building, which, oh, okay, but but why are we, why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? And then Callum Drift just has a motivational speech to Santa about adults being terrible, which is, is true. But then an action scene breaks out. And it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen, like potentially ever seen. And I've seen a lot of ugly action scenes in my time, let me tell you. They go place to place, they go looking for MacGuffin uh, to MacGuffin, and then the ending happens and then hallelujah. That's, that's the end. I think the thing that is intriguing about it is The Rock's perception of what this film really is, right? The Rock thinks it to be like this next movement, this next Oppenheimer type type experience, when it when it really isn't. It's just a Christmas film with no moral compass, like, what is the moral compass of it? Like, don't be a money launderer and... <laughs> I don't know. Because I was watching it and I was thinking, what's the actual message behind it? That people can be bad, but they're good? I, I, it's so muddled, it's so confusing. And Kin and Shipka's villain, like, I, I, I don't get it, I, I really don't. Her whole plot is the fact that she wants all the people on the naughty list to suffer, so she sends them snow globes. Um, cool. All leading to this third act of which I think is one of the most hideous third acts I've ever seen. It's up there with Shang-Chi, but Shang-Chi is a better film, but the third act of that film is such a hideous mess, and it kind of you know, fades into that thing once in a while. It kind of leans into parody after a while, and it really frustrated me. Sitting there for two hours in a screen full of kids who are like, oh yeah, look, it's Santa Claus. Yeah, uh, uh, guys, just don't go see Red One. It is a waste of time. It's a waste of money. I don't understand why they decided to make a money laundering scheme like this. Drain the Cock Johnson just doesn't have it anymore. He just doesn't. Hopefully the Safdie's film saves his image. Because this one... Yeah. If he keeps churning out shit like this for the rest of his life, it's gonna be a miserable experience for, for everyone involved. Best thing to come out of it is definitely that Oppenheimer video, like... <laughs> that's the reason why I went to see this in the first place, is because that video is so goddamn funny and so unserious. If you want to see a Christmas film this year, watch Christmas Eve at Miller's Point. I think that one will be so much better than this. This is just a hideous mess, which doesn't need to exist, and it feels like it's for iPad kids who want to watch Fortnite and, and play Leaky Towers, I don't know. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Red One. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me down below if you've seen Red One, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oppenheimer was amazing, but I was thinking, holy shit, this thing, Red One on this screen uh, with this technology, it's going to be game over.